Russia's space station Mir holds the record for flights of long duration. Today, cosmonauts spend up to 14 months in space, twice as long as the trip to Mars and almost half the length of the entire mission. Long stays can be enhanced by some of the comforts of home. Mir has even had a steam bath, where cosmonauts could take a traditional Russian banya complete with a birch branch. But the cosmonauts have learned that over time, things can go wrong, as they did for Vladimir Titov and Musa Maranov during their 13-month mission. Two months into our flight, we had an orientation problem. The space station drifted out of alignment with the sun, and suddenly we couldn't charge our solar batteries, and so we lost energy. And that was scary because we had to turn off all the lights. The fans stopped, electricity was low on the ship, we were trying to get out of this situation for a long time, about three weeks. We had to restore all the devices that didn't work. While they could have taken a lifeboat capsule back to Earth, something that wouldn't be possible on a Mars mission, eventually they resolved the crisis. But then a new one arose. There were moments when we got bored with each other. Mostly, it was the result of psychological stress. We never really fought. Instead, we just went to the porthole and observed the Earth. Did our own thing when we got bored. Fortunately, whenever we had important jobs to do together, all the problems between us would vanish. How will we select the crew for the first human mission to Mars, people who can handle both the risks and the stress? The answer may lie behind these gates at Russia's cosmonaut training center, Star City. In the United States, psychological factors play a small role in deciding who goes into space. But in Russia, psychology is central. At all the milestones of a cosmonaut's training, someone like psychiatrist Oleg Ruman is there observing. Today, Oleg Kotov is taking his first ride in the centrifuge to see if he can withstand the g-forces of a rocket launch. To test his ability to concentrate under pressure, he's told to press a button every time these lights go on. Oleg will be subjected to nearly seven g's. In the control room is the psychiatrist Oleg Ruman. I'm looking on his expression and behavior reaction, and I'm looking for his eyes. It's viewing just one point or maybe space around him. The test lasts only five minutes. From a physical point of view, Oleg did fine. And from the psychological? A little bit nervous, but this is the first rotation on a centrifuge for this young cosmonaut. And this is a good person. I like that.